Hello my warriors, how is it going? Welcome to the first episode of another Battletech Advanced 3062 playthrough. Yes, we are playing a new modded series because there's a lot of new stuff to discover and I want to dive into it. We're gonna start a career mode and this is how we run it. I want all friendly fire. I only want four parts for max because I want to keep some progression but I also want to stay at a level where I have uh, you know enough challenge to actually get those max. I usually go with uh, 10,000 command experience because I think the commander should be better than everybody else and everything else is just normal pilot speed system 5 fine mech warrior exponent normal lethality is actually lethality is lethal um mech base c builds normal wait lethality is giving us the chance to lose pilots right kills in action from never to always yeah always when somebody dies then somebody dies Grab value return, fine. Selling price, fine. Starting money, fine. That's normal. That's often that's normal. And starting planet and max. Is it gonna be random? We could go. We could go pirate, guys. Yeah, let's go. Let's start with pirates. I want, uh, guys. I gotta. I gotta. Uh, you know, a hang for the pirates. I got a sweet, sweet spot in my heart for the outcasts and outlaws. So we're gonna be playing a pirate lands to see whether or not we can um, swashbuckle our way towards glory and victory. Let's see. We of course need a commander. And I think the last time we were playing with a female commander, if I remember correctly, so it's time for a male commander again. And um, I, I gotta say, I already looked into this, there's a lot of new, there are a lot of new pilots um, um, portraits there. And I found one that I really do like, and I think he fits perfectly. So, let's dive into it. Generating portraits. Come on. I want to get things done. Look at him. He looks familiar, though. Wait. Who's that? He looks very familiar. I cannot really pinpoint it right now, but... Hmm. Yeah, this guy's also pretty cool. <laughs> I like his face. The old guy here. Again, a lot of new portraits there. Good job, everybody. And uh, the one that I want to go for is all the way in the bottom. And it's him. It's definitely him. His name is... Um, Valor? No. Camelthorn? Vulture? Vulture could be nice, but you know what? I'm gonna call him Skinny. He's just... His name orders. is Skinny. I hear you. Commander. You have orders? And that's his voice. Absolutely. His name is... How might Taylor... I McMillan. That's his name. Taylor McMillan, aka Skinny. And we're gonna dive into According. it. Of course, I'm gonna go with the good old Betray yes, thing, Commander. because it gives us gunnery. And you know what? He was a Solaris Gladiator before. Why not? And he was coming from the deep periphery. Let's go. Skinny and his mercenaries. And the first things that we're gonna check out is, of course, the mech bay. Because I want to see what's in there. Oh, perfect. We start with the Hunchback 4G. I think that fits. Like, it's his, like, like treasure mech. He always liked his big auto cannon. And yeah, mechs now have some interesting uh, quirks or uh, support systems here. For example, the Hunchback has Battle Fist. Plus one melee accuracy and 3% melee damage. Uh, and that's on both arms. So that thing is a pretty cool brawler. I'm looking forward to play around with that. Also, in Battletech Advanced 3062, we have the ability to upgrade our engines, the gyros, the cooling systems, and so on. This is why I play that. I always also played a bit of um, Battlefact Enhanced 3025, Commander's Edition. And while it's a cool, cool mod, guys, don't get me wrong, I like to see more. And, of course, I think... I love Rogue Tech. I like this here. The other one is okay, and Vanilla is also... You know, it's Vanilla. But, um... This... Advanced 3062 here, I think this is gonna be good. So, the Fire Starter is a Nimble Jumper. It has a 15% jump distance quirk. Alright, it's on the Gyro. So, that's cool. That's really cool. I love to have a Fire Starter, by the way, from the get-go. Then there's a Locust, 1V. That's the one with the machine guns, right? Yeah, it is. As a narrow profile means uh, plus one evasion pip gain from movement and plus one defense against being hit. Now, that could be very handy. And there is a wham? A fire bee? What the hell is a fire bee? Primitive cockpit, though, so that's not great. We gotta replace that. And primitive engine. So, has a bunch of SRMs and LRMs. Fire bee rugged structure. Plus 50% structure points. Ooh, and plus 50% critical hits. So that's the thing that the Fire Bee brings. Let me just drop the armor. Does it cost us? Because... That gives us 
minus 50% tech points, minus 50% siebel cost to repair, but also 33% <laughs> less armor. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Right. Directly. That work order you submitted and we got a Cicada 3C. Oh my god. Alright, that's pretty cool, guys. That is pretty cool. We have a core 280. We have cooling. We have a PPC from, from the beginning here. And the Cicada is uh, easy to pilot. Better walk and sprint distance. Alright. So, also it has no armor whatsoever. <laughs> what are we doing with this? I'd say we might be playing this here. Like the first three mechs. Oh, sorry. The first four mechs here. And the Cicada might be... Might be in the in the bay for a while. What's the armor here? Run armor 60? 50? Uh, we will see about that. So... Let's take a look at our barracks. We need to distribute some skill points, and also I need to see who is there. We have Skinny. Skinny is definitely getting... All the gunnery in the world? What the hell? Skinny shouldn't have so much, so much experience. Or, he shouldn't be able to invest into so many skill points directly. Now, that is interesting. Alright. Uh, I'll take that recall penalty reduction. Sure, that's what he does. Yeah, um, we're gonna go with Bulwarky on Skinny. Training confirmed. All right, confirm that. We have wildfire. Holy shit! All right, oh, that's a good start. Standing by. There's saber cat. Standing by. Face. Standing by. Dust ball. All right. Waiting on you, commander. And then there's cold fire. Hell yeah! That seems like a good starting lance. I am very happy to see wildfire. Wow. All right, guys. I would say we just go to the command center and play the first mission. I want to take it slow today. So, I just want to get a feeling for my lance. So, what are we doing here? Oh, we have a battle half scalp. Let's go in. Um, hmm. I think I want to get some parts early on. I don't care so much about... Uh, yeah. Oh, it's double lances available. Ooh, interesting. That is interesting. Does it mean... Ooh, does it mean we have long loading times? Because I hope not. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we're gonna get skinny on the hunchback. That makes sense. Although a breaching shot on on skinny would uh, like on on the hunchback would also be pretty good. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that. So cicada here, breaching shot with the PPC that makes sense. We're gonna put saber cat with sensor lock on a primitive fire bee, and we have cold fire on the fire starter. That makes sense. Uh, and then we're gonna put face on the locust. All right, that's gonna be interesting as hell. How many? How many, how many uh, enemies will be there on the board? I mean, if I am able to field up to two lancers, how many enemies will there be? Alright, interesting. Last time we were playing with double lancers in a very early state. It kind of broke the game because um, the game couldn't really handle all the enemies on the board. And the, the turns took forever for the AI to calculate every single move. And then there was like a minute for each and every turn for the enemy. Not even turn, like every move, like every, every phase there. That was crazy. So, it took a while. But anyway, we'll check it out. I hope um, since back then, the game has advanced and the mod has advanced a bit. So, let's see. Command I'm excited, guys. Wait, did I negotiate for Max Salvage now? I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't matter so much. Cool, we can reserve. They will reserve with us. Alright. I need Saber Cat. It was Saber. We cannot sprint and, and do stuff, right? So we have to actually move. Okay, fire be looking interesting. And we're gonna sensor lock this dude. Sensors locked off. It's a Valkyrie. Alright, LRM 10, right? Uh, LRM 10 and a medium laser. Yes, exactly. Alright. How might I help? Hunchback is out of range. Let's take the cicada then. Waiting for orders. Because we'd probably be able to do something here. Affirmative. Oh, I need to disable the follow camera. I don't like it too much. 37%. Kaboom! Alright! I called it! It kind of worked. Alright, we're gonna keep doing that, alright guys? What the hell? I understand. Alright, Hunchback going into the forest. Then we have face. Oh, I, I gotta be done here. Oh, can we sprint and shoot in this mod? You. Need to check that out later. Moving to position. Okay, Lucas is just standing right next to him, just as an escort, just as a support. And we're gonna brace there. Also, give me a second. Uh, going to settings, going to... Shoulder camera. 
The targeting shoulder camera is nice. But I don't want the cinematics. Never. 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 And melee sometimes. Why not? Alright, cool. Now cold fire. What can I do for you? Move in. Ah, oh, that's better. I have more control over this now. So we have 50% of the enemies down. Aye, aye. But what else is there to come? I have no idea. My oh, there they come. I want to check something real quick. Can I get in here? And still sensor lock. Yes, I can sprint and shoot. Oh, I can sprint and act, obviously. I've got a sensor lock. So we're gonna get minus two evasion on this guy. Reporting. Oh yeah. Nah, 15%. Let's get some more evasion off of him before we do that. Alright. It's the Locust. Yeah, just one medium laser is fine for me. It's all about removing evasion. And if I could just shoot him. And one pip is removed. Nothing. It is not, because that's not how it works here. Because it's not vanilla. Alright, learned that. Yes, Thank you. 30%? Mm, nope. Not quite. Breaching shot is really That's handy, though. Alright, then uh, I would say, since it's just a locust, uh, we'll just push this guy. Good to go. Capo! That's some damage there. And he's also knocked down, right? Good. Did we not rip his leg apart? Obviously, it's the, the side torso. I hear ya. Alright, man. I'm gonna go in. Medium lasers for the win. It's not much, but 11% might hit anyway. It's a 1 in 10 almost. So it's fine. Stand still while I'm attacking you. Cool. Is that the last guy though, or do they bring reinforcements? They bring reinforcements. Got it. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Alright. Looks like enemy reinforcements. So there's still more stuff to come. That's interesting. Um Man, I really wish I could precision strike him. Wait a second. Cicada is a medium max, so we cannot use it. What can I do for you? Can we use that? Not really. Ah, oh, I'm lacking. I'm lacking that's options fine. here. Lacking a lot of options. I mean, that's not too bad. We could also sensor lock this guy again, but it's a precision strike. Okay. Let's go. Lost evasion. But now he's gonna act right. He's gonna get out of his uh, its instability again. Come on, little commando. At the very least, he lost his large laser already. So he's not that dangerous. It's good. And our Locust is super evasive. It's getting one base evasion and plus one base defense. That's insane. Waiting on you, Commander. Okay, he also didn't move. I mean, that's great. Got it. We tried to kill him. Oh, and I should have jumped, honestly. Right? I think I could have gotten into medium... Uh, oh, sorry, into close range. Being able to shoot the machine guns and the flamers. You. That's cool. Oh, that's cool as hell. Roger. Little one, run! And now we're gonna shoot the other little one. Alright, he's stressed, so we have the panic system in there. Love it. Alright, skinny. Let's go. Yeah, 28%. Give him hell. Certainly. Or maybe not. At the very least, we hit him once with the lasers, and he is panicked. Alright, so I don't want to use my resolve yet. That's because I want to be inspired and have an overall better hit chance. All right. And that's the light like destroyed, so this uh, commander is not going to do anything good. anymore. That's good. He's now turned two. No, sorry, three. Which means that, uh, yeah, all of our light max can completely ball on onto this guy. It's a fire starter, though. Ooh. Alright. Which fire starter was that? I need to check that. It was uh, different from mine here. Uh, it was a... An S1 with AMS. Small lasers and flamers. Interesting. Cool. What can I do for you? Alright. Uh, we're gonna finish the commando. Let's go for legs. We panicked him out. But we didn't destroy. So that's more parts for us. That's good. Not that, if I, not that I want a commando. They are okay, Max. They are okay. 
Minimal damage. Minimal. All right, skinny. Let's move you in That's position. Fine. Also, I'm not gonna That's shoot fine. this fire starter. I'm gonna sensor lock this guy again. Oop. Getting rid of his evasion so that the AC-20 has a better hit chance overall. Ready for orders. And the locust. So evasive, that little bugger. All right, I'm gonna check out something real quick. I wanna see if I can sprint and shoot here. It should be possible now, right? Yeah, can do. And you know what? I'll precision strike the crap out of this guy. Let's go for center torso directly. All right, he's unsettled. As a wasp lamb, an LIM, a land air mech. Interesting. Cool. So, our hit penalty looks like that. Medium range, plus two, target effects, plus one, target move, plus two, target size, plus three, self moved, plus one. All right, so being in cover doesn't give us a penalty. It's good to know. Engaging target. PPC failed. missed, though. All right, That's skinny has to do it then. 25%. I don't want to sprint because it also messes with my target aim. Acquired and locked in. Oh, man. I know I could just keep the the gun silent for a round to not have that much recoil, but 30% in an early game scenario like that is actually quite okay. So taking the shot is what I'm doing. Yeah, you miss all the time here. I don't believe that the Locust is in any danger of getting wrecked. Especially since uh, we have initiative over the fire starter, which is nice. Receiving you. Okay, Mr. Primitive. Aye, aye. Mm, shoot him. Oh, AMS. Of course. Of course, they have AMS, which invalidates our missiles. Well, let, let's see if we can... Wow. Yes, we can. We can jump like crazy. It also doesn't generate so much heat, so that's pretty cool. I want this guy off the board right now. And we go with another precision strike. That also pushes him back to turn two, which means that our other guys can follow up the mediums. Another hit like that, and you're toast. Ready for orders. Face. This can punch him. That gets rid of more evasion. That's good. A bonk. Or maybe it doesn't here. We will see about that in a sec. Standard engine is crit though. That's good. Target's taken a critical hit. And he panicked. You have orders. All right, skinny. Go ahead. Of course. And shoot him. He's going down. Or maybe he panics out. There's another critical in his torso. Reporting critical. Yeah, we got him. That's so cool. I'm here. So you're here. What about this? 63%. I'm just moving in. The cicada is quite evasive. I know it doesn't have that much armor, but still. Nice hit. We also impaired their sensors, which means that they are not that accurate in the next turn. That is a plus one difficulty to hit. Pretty good. Um, the least evasive target is the locust at the moment, as well as the hunchback. So I hope he doesn't go for my little one. It's going for the big one. Pretty good. Oh, it feels good to start over again, honestly. It feels good to start a new mod and all of that. That's really cool. I'm having a blast. Like, the early game is the most interesting, I think. And the super late game in Rogue Tech, when you are hunting uh, super heavy max. That's really cool. Alright, bunch of hits there. And another punch out. Ooh, I sent salvage on the board, guys. Successful. Now the big question is, did we really negotiate for it, or did we forget about it? So, let's see. Um, we didn't really get damage, which is nice. Uh, click next there, okay. And we have negotiated for salvage. We could technically pick this fire starter. Um, anything else that I want? The other bunch of, I guess, guardian ECM. Ooh, plus one defense against being hit. I mean, that's a thing. That's a very strong thing early on. I need my defense. Arrgh. I also want the fire starter. How lucky would I get, even? That's a 35-ton mech. We can easily replace the primitive one. Or we add it to the lands and play with more mechs, even. Fire starter, yes or no? S1. 
comes with Guardian ECM if I build it. I'll gamble here. Two more parts randomly. Uh, no. We get the Wasp, we get the Core, which gives us money, and the Commando. Alright. Again, it's not a big deal. I also don't want to rebuild any of my mechs early on. I will completely play this planet here to the end with the mechs that we have. And as soon as we travel somewhere, uh, we're going to start rebuilding. Because that's the moment when we can actually use our time to best uh, extent. Also, um, engineering. Let's take a look at Farah. And actually, uh, at our Argo. What's that? Drop size. Command control. Ooh. Okay. Expand the drop pod. Then there's also mech control and drop tonnage. Oh, you guys added new stuff to this. We need more of that, guys. This is so cool. We need way more than that. Oh, I love it. So, repair and refit. Um, Why not? Why not two tech points early on? Again, I want to refit a bit. That's our first investment. Cool. That's cool as hell. Next. Sabercat needs gunnery. A lot of it. I'm here. Standing by. Face, Standing there's by. dust ball, and then there is uh, cold fire. Alright, nothing there, nothing crazy. I would say we play another mission straight away, and then we're gonna see what we're gonna do afterwards. Capture base seems good. Interdiction is ambush convoy. Why not capture a base? Can we play this already? One skull assassination? Yeah. Yeah, we can. We can. So, Cicada comes in here. Wildfire on the cicada. Gunnery 8 on the cicada. That's really good. Actually, I should put the gunnery 8 pilot on the hunter. It just makes more sense, guys. It just makes more sense overall. Uh, everybody else is on a good mech. Cool. I also want to put Dust Bowl to good use. And honestly, if we have, like, what, 8 mechs possible to drop, then we should have at least 12 mech warriors. Something like that. So we're gonna keep a keen eye on the on the hiring hall in order to see if we want to pick up somebody or not. Actually, in order to see if we want to pick up somebody. Not the not. We want to pick up more mech warriors. And the good ones. Or the ones that have potential. Or the ones that look cool or have a cool voice line. That's also a very big factor. At least for me. I like shiny guys. I'm the one. I'm the one who, who puts his magic cards in fancy sleeves. I'm the one who, who really likes to uh, to paint uh, his bear. Uh, tabletop miniatures and have cool terrain. I, I just like that. I'm not all in for the mechanics. I like a bit of, you know, nice little detail to it. I can probably say I'm pretty hedonistic. Probably. <laughs> Alrighty. So, what are we doing here? Assassination. We are playing against uh, one skull thing. It could also be that we find another medium mech here. Depends on if we can make him punch out, and if we get the salvage afterwards. So, we're not able to get a full mech in a single blow um, when we negotiate for three salvage, which is very common. Um, because we have nego like we have set it up for four parts to finish a mech, which is good. Ooh, right. Instant enemy forces here, which is good because we can reserve here. I'll wait here for now. That's smart. That's very smart. Standing by. Okay. Let's go in here. On it. See what's coming. So far, so good. It's a commando. I'm not shooting him. I will sensor lock him. Yep. Yeah. That should also scramble his sensors, which means that he's gonna get a uh, penalty to hit. Oof. PPC. Was it a panther? Maybe? Plus two difficulty. What? Two difficulty to all hits. Okay. I thought it was just one. Well, that's good. That's a commander with medium laser, SRMs, and the flamer. Wow. Interesting. Standing by. Let's see if we can shred him. Um, I'll go with the breaching shot here. Target locked. Cap. Ow. <laughs> I love it. Reporting enemy I love when the plans come. Plan comes together like I that. Oh, that was so beautiful. Um, I'll be playing aggressive. Yeah, we do, because we only have we two go. more targets, which already moved, and then um, there's the assassination target somewhere. Somewhere in the back. Like, all the way in the back. Alright. Yeah, we can be aggressive here. It's a Jenner F. Alright, uh -huh. whatever. We shoot the mediums. If they hit, they hit. If they don't, they don't. It's fine. Get you next time. But yeah, thanks to the fact that we have jumped so far, we are pretty evasive up there. 
You have orders? Skinny on the very skinny cicada. Consider it done. Doesn't have that much armor, but it's fine. Locking on target. Hit him? Aw. That was a miss. I gotta say, I like the shoulder kill cam here. It, it really gives me some anticipation on uh, what's gonna happen. We are evasive enough. And it's a panther. It's a katana cat. No, wait. 10ka? Is it a katana cat? Yeah, it is. I think it is. Because of the SRM4 Artemis. So, what do we shoot? Whatever, Jenna first. Although, if he's running Artemis, that means that he has a way higher hit chance. So, at the moment, I'm just banking on evasion. And that kind of thing, uh, it removes evasion. Or negates my evasion to an extent. Just has more accuracy. Alright. So, Jenner, I want you to come closer. Let's reserve that. Is he coming? Jumping, even. Alright. But it's good. That's really good. Because now we can go for a sensor lock yet again. Oh, we could also scramble the sensors of the panther in the back. I gotta play around with sensor lock a bit more, honestly. Alright. Moving to position. Moving the fire bee over here. Sensor locking this. Got a lock. Okay, so the Jenner is not a problem anymore, I would say. Here we go. Where's my hunchback? Yes, Commander. Let's just move in. Roger. And we just shoot the AC. Fire in. Which goes wide. Alright. Reporting. Alright, alright, alright. Certainly. Certainly. That's a hit. Yeah. 44 damage, and I think it went to the leg, if I saw that correctly. Yeah, I really like that the projectiles are actually trying to trace, um, like, where they hit. That's cool. Alright, add some stress on the guy. Uh-huh. The flamers and the machine guns, they are real good stress weapons. Same thing here. Position confirmed. Okay, next round we can do a precision strike, which is gonna be very helpful. Cool. So far, so good. Panther going in. Okay. Reporting. Structural damage. I want to see what happened. All right. Nothing too crazy. Um. Waiting for orders. So we have the precision strike ready, which means I should technically use that. Let's go to cover. Right, commander. I should use that to push him back so that he's not doing anything anymore. Okay, more stress for him. That's good. He's also critical on heat already, so that's really nice. Ready for orders. Um, hmm. Hmm. Got some options here. So first, face. I do believe that face is not gonna get hit by the panther if you move in here. Got it. More stress? No? Alright. Um, hmm. Standing by. Could technically shoot him here. Stand and shoot, or move and shoot, it's all the same, almost the same. I had to go out of cover, but it's okay. We keep shooting the Jenner, maybe it helps here. And he panicked! Alright, that's some tasty Jenner parts. If he's punching out, if. Alright, that's cool, he's going for the Cicada. So yeah, this Katana Cat has some, some potential. Uh, or let's say the panther or whatever that is and I cannot really hit the Jenner anymore which means we're gonna do a change of target with the hunchback probably also with the cicada unsettled the next thing that um, what's their name wildfire needs is um, gunnery 6 to mitigate the recoil yes commander that's a given 63% if I move over here Wait, can I flank this guy? Not really. It's 37. So th this would be... Wait, no. Where was it? 63%. It's the best we can get here. That's the sweet... Yeah, that's the sweet spot. Ah, 50, come on! I cannot stay in cover and have the good hit chance at the same time. So I set 450. Have no doubt, it will be done. Headshot! Certainly. No! Not a hit at all! 
<laughs> Love the early game, guys. Oh, man. So, what's gonna come? It's gonna happen. Good move there, Panther. But you didn't shoot, which is good for us. So, but yeah, we're gonna reserve this. The Jenna has to move in again. And then we're gonna sensor lock him, and then we're gonna completely ball on him. Three hits on the Cicada, which could also be critical already. We don't have much armor. Ah, barely hit. Why can I not see my people? Wait a second. There's something in the settings that I need to need to get back. Gameplay. Uh, show you ID ring attacks. That's what we need. And then you can right click your targets to see what's happening while they are getting shot. Anyway, where is my uh, fire bee? There is. Roger. Yeah. Cool. So save a cat. Get that guy sensor locked. Sensors locked now off. we're gonna kill him. All right. Still something lingering in the back. Commander? 43. That's the best we can do. And I'll go with the breaching shot. All right. That's good. That hit something Destroyed good. the lasers. Two of them. And he's panicked again, which means we're gonna follow up on this completely Receive now. You. Hell yeah. Heading out. I want the locust in the forest though. And I want it evasive. Firing. Not a hit. Sadly. Target missed. I'd like to have this uh, panther there, honestly. Commander. Okay, let's make a jump. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here in order to shoot all of my weapons. Come on, get him! Make him punch out! Lots of misses there. Crap. How might I help? Hey, Skinny, what about you, man? Can you just move around a bit? We can get three evasion and we are on the side here, so let's do that. That's a good move. Of course. And that's a miss. Oh. Failed to connect. <laughs> Guys! You had one job. Alright, Panther improved the confident, which is not great. And the Jenner is still alive. Which is also a thing that I hoped uh, to be over already. Damn it. Okay. Moved around, so we're gonna use Saber Ready Cat forward. once more. Wait, I can't sprint. Yeah, I can sprint and sensor lock, so I should do that. Hello, man. Sensor locking you. I've got a sensor lock. Minus two evasion. I could have also uh, defensively sensor locked the uh, Panther, obviously, that shot got for him to give uh, for him to get a minus two um, attack. Good to go. Hmm. That from above would be an option. I'm not gonna Here do that. Yeah, so no medium lasers here. Well, not all of them. But the rest is gonna be flamers and machine guns and hopefully a punch out now. Come on. Critical hit, Commander. No. What the? Orders. Wow. Confirmed. Astonishing. Targeting for an alpha strike. Now. No? Are you kidding me? What's the plan? All right, Skinny. Your turn. Get close. 50%. That's what we get here. <laughs> Holy macaroni. Confirmed. Now he's gonna go. He got another injury. He didn't. I'm here. He didn't bail. I am uh, beyond words here. Engaging target. Now we destroyed the other arm. Come on, dude. You have no weapons anymore. Improved to stressed? Yeah, you still have weapons. <laughs> That's so funny. That is so damn funny. Commander? Alright, the thing that I can do here is the following. Um, and I will do it. it. Let's go, precision strike. Into his back. Rip All him apart, come on! Nice! Two heat sinks destroyed. Critical hit, Commander. That'll show him. <clears throat> a little bit. Also, he has pushed back one turn, which is nice. Ready for orders. Can I follow up on this? Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted. Understood. I don't want him to shoot anymore. I'm scared of him. In all right. SRM destroyed. It's something. Hit. He's unsettled. Great. Standing by. And we cannot follow up on this. Not really. Not really. Huh. 
How do we play this? I have an idea. Hey, dude! Eat missiles! Got him! In the end. Alright, so the panther can still do its stuff with the PPC or with the punch or whatever. Going for my hunchback, which is good. Honestly, the hunchback is our tank at the moment and has the most armor. So I'm, I'm happy, I'm fine with what he's doing there. Uh, this is an alpha strike though. I'm just going for a kill. That's solid. Absolutely. So, if we destroy the second leg now, how much salvage would we get? Do we get the four still, like the maximum salvage, or do we get one or two less? Yes, Depending on how many components are still on the mech. When we attempt to salvage it. I have no idea. So, we'll try anyway. I think it's a good way to kill him. Ooh, nice hit. Oh, and then there is still the assassination target that we don't know of yet. Alright, there's more. So. I'm here. Little one. Go over here. Shoot him. Kill him. Maybe he's punching out even. Actuator destroyed. Taken a hit. Yep. That's what I expected. A mech on the ground that is getting shot by, by that. He's gonna run. Receiving you. Anyway, there's a target somewhere. Let's reserve this. Ready for orders. To me it seems like a medium. On it. Rough terrain. I need to get vision on this. He's still there. Wow, that's a lot of water to cross, by the way. I'm here. Alright, let's move Double it then. Time. Let's go. It would be so cool if we could get out of active combat again. Because obviously we don't necessarily... You yeah, we are not engaged. That's the thing. Luckily we have the Cicada, we have the Locust and everybody else. Uh, which is in a light mech. Next the Hunchback is gonna struggle a bit catching up. But you know what, I'm just gonna go in because I wanna be done with the mission. Double time. Yeah, definitely. And I think we're gonna meet in the water somewhere. <laughs> The fire bee is actually quite handy. Having a mech that is, you know, not that impactful. That seems kind of contradictory, right? When I say the fire bee is handy and it's not that impactful. But, you know, I have something I have to that I don't have to worry about when I'm not shooting the weapon systems. And instead go for a sensor lock. So that's nice. Commander? It's really nice. Moving out. Right. How might I help? And the cicada. Why did you spawn all the way up there? Like, up here, right? I really do hope that he is coming towards me. Ready for orders. And is not so just Roger. stuck somewhere. But it might be. I mean, on the upside. <laughs> if they are stuck, then we can maybe Standing just snipe by. him out. Nothing on the sensors yet. Waiting for orders. Oh, I wonder if there is something like a like a sensor suite that you can install on your Max later, that helps you with um, increasing your sight and, and sensor distance, What's which the is then plan? really good for my sensor pilot, the sensor lock pilot. Right. I'm receiving you. Go cool, wildfire! Let's go. All right, my turn. That's a turn three movement. So we have a medium Max on the board there. My assumptions were correct, so we have one skull, and assassinations Commander? usually give you one skull higher. Here we go. As the assassination target, and we see a Centurion with the Rotary Auto Cannon 5. What? What? There's the Rock 5 Centurion in the first mission? We're gonna get that, guys. We're definitely gonna get that. Oh my god. Receiving you. And we can already shoot him with our missiles. Uh, can we sensor lock him? Huh, not quite. I think he's just out of range. Yeah. But anyway, we have the missiles. Let's go for it. Dealing exactly no damage. Okay. Come on, Hunchback. Move forward. We need you. Through the water. This is gonna be such a tough push. Man, we are slowed down so much. And this guy is just having the perfect fire position there. PPC hits. Target damaged. Yes. Your fire and bring it not down. bad, not bad. So I want him to move first. We are in quite a good position right now. Alright. Breaching shot. Where's the rock? Come on, dude. Shoot your autocannon. What? What, what? what? Why? 
Dude, seriously. I can only shoot the medium lasers, but whatever. Let's go. Got it. Zap, zap. That's good. I want to use wildfire. Ah, uh, alright. I thought I could miraculously sprint in there and have just the edge of my auto cannon ready, but it's just no. I was asking for a bit too much, but Skinny can do it. Reporting. How much hit chance do we have here, naturally? 63%. Okay, I will sprint. And I will also precision strike him. And that's a headshot. No, it's not. That's okay, though. We hit him. Commander. Yeah, we have to go all in. We have to go super close if we want to get him down. Shoot him. No, 50%. Nothing crazy, but okay. Next round we have initiative, that's good. And he is a turn two now, thanks to our precision strike that we just managed to get off. We don't need any sensor locks, that's the good news. We can actually shoot with our primitive fire bee. Getting another shot, but he doesn't care. Commander? He doesn't care, um... What's it called? Time to fly. Ooh, this is interesting. Um, 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 uh... Panic-wise. Mass destroy, gyro crit, he is unsteady. Ooh, can we knock him down? Wait a second, I'm gonna reserve that because I can. How, might I How much stability damage does our PPC do? Yeah, that's enough. That's, that has to be enough. Fire. Yes, Commander. Knock him. Oh yeah, he's stressed out. Kabong. Health is 3 out of 4. Alright guys, we are able to make call shots orders. now. I don't no think that we're gonna get it done, but it's technically possible. Only with the medium laser. Alright. It's only the medium. Come on, stress him out more. He needs to punch out. He's a rookie pilot. He has to go. Dude, leave your cockpit right now. Um... This might seem weird, but I'm gonna do another precision strike here. Just for the increased chance of hitting him. Okay, no stress on the pilot. What's he gonna do now? Help! Improved targeting is what he has. And an advanced targeting computer. Uh oh. Okay. Nope. 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 Ah! Okay, that's the auto cannon. This is why I want that thing, by the way. So if we are, if we are getting that thing on offer, I'd definitely take it. So here's what we do: we shoot him in the back a bunch more times. Is there? Oh, he's running XL. Is there any any ammo in there? No, he, there's not. Uh, I'm not shooting those lasers. I think it's just for the criticals. Engine crit, engine destroyed. That is the Centurion. Mm. Hell yeah. Mission successful. So, it's time for salvage, everybody. Now that was a good mission. Oh yeah. So I do believe the Centurion will have all of the parts available. Uh-huh, so... I cannot even see the kills. What's that? Why is there Battle Mech Red and why is there... Battle make white. I don't know. Anyway, again, salvage is where it's at right now. Man, we can't get the four centurion parts, but only if we are getting really, really lucky. But we could also just take the rock and have fun with that on the hunchback. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing now. Hmm, breaching shot. And minus one recoil with ranged weapons and so on. Yeah, it's good. Oh, we need a lot of ammo in order to get that thing right, right? In order to make it work, we need a lot of ammo. Right, let's hope that we get lucky. We get two Centurion parts anyway. Two Jenner parts. SRM lower arm. And only one bin of ammo. Ah, if we had two bins, we could also use it. Or already use that. We only had six shots, but it's fine. It's okay. So, we have a rock. No ammo for it yet. But maybe the store is gonna give us something. Let's check that out. If we get that, we'll definitely put the rock on the um, on the hunchback instead of the ultra, uh, not ultra twenty, but instead of the regular autocannon twenty, because it has way more range and the hunchback lacks speed at the moment. 
So being more relevant at uh, any given fighting situation would be so good. Let's take a look at the store. Alright, we get an AC2 triple plus here. Shadowhawk, Stinger, an Arrow, Light Gauss, a Long Tom. Yeah, we're starting out with pretty good stuff here. Ooh, SR Ooh SRM4. Two. What's that? Arm X75. Plus. Uh, actuators. So yeah, it's a melee damage arm. Uh-huh. So that's how melee is uh, handled here. I like that idea. I'll buy that. It's plus 15. That's not bad. Uh, E-cooling. Exchanger. Obviously really good. Epsilon leg. Death from above damage. Mm, no. XL engine. Also a pretty cool thing to have. But in terms of ammo, we have one ammo for the... Yeah, one bin for the Rock 5. I think we'll take that. Buy that. Thank you. New equipment available. It's also Artemis SRM ammo. I think at some point I'll use that. Also Ultra ammo. Oh, do we invest already? I think yes. Buy New that. Available. And that's Ultra ammo. No, we're not doing that. Anyway, guys, we have invested a little bit into... into um, uh, We need money. Um, <laughs> into our uh, um, builds and... That was it for today. That was the first episode of Battletech Advance 3062. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.